So we've got some poles, we've got some basic cooking pots. I've still got a smidge of flint. <sighs> and we got some firewood. Do I... Do I actually refuel this thing? Maybe I don't. When did this come out? Uh, it's not out yet, actually. Well, it sort of is. It's out on the developer's uh, website, but it's not out anywhere else. Jeez. Uh, let's just do the raw ingot molds, I guess. I'm still in the the size threes. That's fine. It's honestly easier for me to do this and then cut away. Well, that's dumb. Okay, copy previous layer. Okay, you done yet? Yeah. Storage pot, ingot molds. Honestly, all things considered, not the least productive day ever. Could have gone faster, maybe. But as far as, like, prepping a lot of things, I don't know. Smelt ores on the fire pit, yeah. I really wish when placing things down, it would actually give me the full preview. Because um, I often find myself unsure of where the uh, the larger radius... Like, there's no brush size. It still only shows me the single square that I'm looking at. And so I have to kind of just guesstimate. And it's like, is this... Did this work? It's not bad. It's just minor issue of, like... Trying to follow the pattern is kind of hard when you're flying blind on the brush. Easier with the uh, with this brush, just because you know, uh, you know it's dead center. But with the two by two, it's one of the corners, and that can change. I should have just copied the previous layer and then just removed. Let's see. I really? Uh <laughs> I, I oh, I'm out of clay. Huh. Didn't realize I could run out of clay while I'm working on something, but I guess I can. Oh, I see. That's why I couldn't put the the 3 by 3s because it actually doesn't want that. There we go. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh-oh. No. There we go. There's the ingot mold. Didn't realize that the... Wait, what? Oh, it bugged out for a second there. Uh... Because didn't I... Didn't I put an ingot mold, like, inside the vessel? And then... Well, I don't know. It's fine. Let's, uh... Snag the rest of the firewood. And just put it on. I'll have to go gather more. Uh, do we do that now? Yeah. We'll do that now. We'll grab another couple stacks of clay. Let's see. Maybe, maybe some sticks. And then definitely kind of put together some slightly 
better defenses? Where am I? Where am I even going with any of this? Going over here. Let's see, this is all just gravel. Oh, we should figure out how to do panning. Because that's, that's something I actually can do. Oh, hey. And this is a whole bunch of clay here. Was this the clay I was working with? Yeah, it was. And they've got fire clay and soil, and then... Oh. I guess some just has grass on it. Uh, let's see, there might be wood armor. Ah. I'll have to take a look. Now that I actually have some inventory space, we can afford to do a lot of things. Okay. Or can I? Oh, I put the knife away. Shoot. I think I get any immediate benefit from the leaves. Well, let's get a couple stacks of clay again, and then probably go for wood. Hey, thank you, Rito, for the raid and for the 14 month resub. How you doing? Uh, did your Ultra Cursed... Nah, I'm pretty sure your Ultra Cursed run uh, went down in the usual burning glory that it does. So, how is this different from Minecraft? Still figuring that out, it's definitely more complex. This very much feels like Minecraft, but for uh, people that got way too deep into the mods. And you know what? That's not necessarily a bad place to be. Alright, let's go huck down some trees. Is this grass? Really? Cat mint. Hey, one of the Mega Cursed runs was a surprise win. Don't remember anything else. It's a blur. I, you know, yeah, that's, that's been me for a while. I'm trying to like, uh, ooh, is this a lot of flint? Yes, it is. Um, man, if I had only started around here, that would have been lovely. It's been the last couple weeks for me. I, I am I'm actively trying to reduce the amount of not work. I'm gonna say variety that I do in a given day. Uh just as like a means of staying sane. I was switching between way too many games lately and it's just been impossible for me to focus on anything. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna play like one, maybe two games a day. And so far, I jury's out, but it feels better. Why does the shadow move so much slower than the pickaxe? You know, this game, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So there's this Minecraft but with a ton, ton of mods and texture packs, right? Nope, this is a standalone. Hey, okay, so we do, we do get maple saplings, so we can plant them. I should probably go back with this, actually. I'll have to figure out how to get more saplings... My assumption is probably go for the leaves first, but I don't have to worry about it that much. I'm also going to starve. I've just kind of accepted accepted this. Um, if I do that, I can at least pick these up. Because that's just more flint. And now that I know what I'm looking for, it's actually not so bad. Okay, so we are going to... Can I pull that out? Is that worth it, or do I want to keep this going? I don't know, actually. Let's just throw in the 15. Oh wait, why did I pull out multiple of those? There's no point in it. Uh, let's see. The ingot molds.
Uh. Oh, it just it just keeps stacking. As long as I have more firewood. Well, that's nice. Instead of constraining itself to purely the vo voxel system. This game has a uh, bit of a learning curve. Yeah, it does. I am... I'm getting it, but it's taking a while. Whoops. Okay, so we want to look into prospecting? Break three blocks in close proximity to sample the area for ores. What? Density search mode. How, what? Okay, let's just go back to this. Find them in, uh, loosely on the ground, in cracked vessels, panning sand, and gravel. Panning. So we just need to uh, make a wooden pan. Okay. Grab these two. Okay, put them back. We wanna. I picked up a bunch of gravel. Oh. Right click on a. Oh! Oh! Okay. Now, I'm inevitably going to starve to death here. Do you have to stand in the water or just nearby? As far as I can tell, I have to stand in it. Okay, so we got some native copper. We got a sandstone stone. I'm just gonna fling that off into the distance. Okay. We got... We're getting stuff. So it seems like panning is... It's gonna be slightly inefficient, but potentially can get us the pickaxe. First and foremost. I'm just gonna pick this one back up. I'll just pan the rest. Okay. So, anyway, uh, for those of you guys just tuning in, this is called, uh, Vintage... Vintage Story, there we go. I was like, Vintage something. Uh, it is a Minecraft clone made by modders, and is supposed to be more, like, automation and survival focused. So, where Hytale goes for the dungeon crawling aspect of it, this is going for the, uh, the building and the resource gathering and so on and so forth. Which has a lot of potential to it. Uh, let's see, one second. Grab this, move this over, and then I'm actually... Okay, that just pauses it. Cool. Okay. So we're starving. Maybe I should look into that. Food preservation. No. Cooking. How do I cook? Meal making. Meat stew, vegetable stew. Uh, let's see. Bowl with pottery. Once fired, pop, uh, create a bowl with fire. Okay, got that. Once fired, place the pot back in the fire pit. Extend its inventory by four slots where you can place most edible items. You can cook up to four or six portions of each. Okay. Green vegetable soup, two fruit, two jam, mushrooms. the hell do I find any of these things? They said mushrooms were going to be the most common, but...
I have no idea if we're going to find those. Well, it's better than starving to death, which I could just do. But that's real boring. Let's let's just start by eating a couple of red currants. Okay, actually, food... Grabbing food isn't so bad. I... You have no idea how tempting it is to sometimes when I play survival games to just accept death, starve a bunch of times, and like not even think about feeding myself. Especially considering I keep getting killed by everything. I'll have to see if I can cook berries on a... Uh, let's see. It, like if I can cook berries on a... Um, Like in a bowl, over the fire. I don't think I can do that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna start with the most basic food gathering technique of shoving berries in face until I'm no no longer hungry. This forest might have something in interesting in it. Okay. So I can get sticks from leaves. Okay, the real question is... Okay, I already got a sapling. That's probably what I was looking for. Hopefully we can get some more saplings eventually with maybe other types of tech. I don't really know. I just absolutely hate chopping down trees and not being able to replant them in games. Sustainability is very important to me. Even if it's completely unnecessary. It's still just... It feels weird if I'm not going for it. Uh, let's see. You can move berry bushes. Good to know. I'll probably do that later. Oh, hey, veggies. We got turnip seeds. And a whole bunch of turnips. Yeah. And normally, I don't care about food in games, but this is this is doing it for me. Where Minecraft survival just felt kind of bland and uninteresting, the extra added challenge really does actually go a long way in, into making this game uh, feel interesting. But yeah, we'll we'll move some berry bushes later. I I'm gonna have to do quite a lot before I want to go that direction. Right now, it's slightly more imper imperative for me to just have everything set up. Uh, we're probably going to want to just take this shovel and go ham on some soil. Uh, just to kind of fill these gaps. Okay. So let's... This one. Oh, interesting. I, I can actually open multiple of them. Uh, let's see. Okay, plenty of flint. We need... I can't... I can't stack crucibles? Weird. Okay, grab that. Oh, it's probably this. No. Starter guide, meal cooking. Oh, it's a pot, not a bowl. There we go. Let's just make one one serving of hefty hefty turnip stew. Okay. I could have put fruit in there. I will keep that in mind and I'll start messing with them. Okay, start a guide, meal cooking. I just have a pot of cooked food. Do I... Take food? I've... Okay, I've taken food. Bowl with meal. Okay. And then we just have a bowl. Okay, cool. 
So now we're not starving. We have some extra things going for us. Crucibles, resources. I think I'm going to let the fire die out for now. We'll look into some other stuff later. I think right now I want to work on... Mm, I think the thing that I want to work on the most... Let's, uh, let's dig up a bunch of this soil. We're going to just make a basic barricade. Because as much as I'd like to uh, work on advancing to some other things, we need to make sure that I'm not going to get uh, bit in the butt by a bunch of weird gremlin creatures every single night. Hopefully they're not going to be able to get in. I'll have to, I'll have to test to make sure. Because it seems like they can climb... What is this? Bauxite. Ah. I saw orange and I'm like, copper? No. No copper. Okay, so yeah, let's let's just grab all this stuff. I'll have to make another shovel, looks like. We've got so much clay that I, I might not have to worry about it as much. I thought this was a Minecraft mod for a bit. Nope, it's a standalone game. Made by, admittedly, uh, a bunch of Minecraft modders and fans. So it's like, I don't know. After a certain point, you have to call a spade a spade. If it, if it was made by Minecraft modders and, uh, you know, is, is designed to be kind of like Minecraft, but with more of a focus on modding, I've, I, it's, it's effectively the same thing. Still good, though. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, we want to have a couple of... A couple of these. Ooh. Maybe we'll get plenty of berries. If I actually remember to grab the resources. This is a Minecraft clone in the best way. Yeah, exactly. I... I was watching a video recently. Um... Oddly enough, from Soviet Womble, who was talking about uh, how there was this uh, there was this market for battle royale games that let's just leave it as uh, as too high. I don't I don't think they go further than too high, but there was this extremely like high demand market for battle royales and pretty much anything uh anything daisy related or daisy adjacent you know people were really hungry for that market and most of them ended up going for more of like a, a base uh base building vibe uh so rust seven days to die so on and so forth heavy on the pve but he always had like a bunch of uh a bunch of different ones all kind of pushing different uh different flavors so, Seven Days to Die, you know, against zombies. Rust, zombies, but also not zombies, but also, I don't know. They really bounced around a lot from what I've heard. I, I honestly haven't gone back to Rust since it first came out. And at this point, I'm kind of afraid to. I would love to see some kind of, like, wholesome versus wide uh, Rust server just as kind of like an interesting goof day thing. But I get the distinct feeling it would be annoying more than fun. It could be cool. I don't know. I, the main issue is just like uh, I, all of us are very roguelike focused. Well, not all of us. But a lot of us are very roguelike focused. And so uh, doing something very PvP focused might not be so hot. The rest just doesn't interest me. It has all the worst aspects of Daisy cranked up. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Which is part of the reason why I'm not super interested in, either, in it either. Okay. That'll do. This way we can have a couple of different places to do panning in. And I can get out. If I need to. But I don't think anything can get in. I don't know. Let's... Do we err on the side of extreme paranoia? Yeah, let's do that. Let's make it... 
Let's make it distinctly hard for any of them to potentially path around by scaling cliffs. Just in case. Because last night was, I'm not going to say traumatic, but it was, it was annoying. Okay, this should work. I don't see any easy ways for them to kind of platform around the top. They could potentially drop down from above. I could get drop bared. And if that's the case, then I'll just manage it. There, there's probably still going to be less of them this way. And that works fine for me. I love these water features. And yeah, eventually we're going to probably carve some of that out, maybe. I wonder if I can... Whoops. That's not... I wonder if I can actually just refuel the fire pit. I hope so. Okay, so I've got... Very limited space here. I've got a bunch of gravel that I can work with. And a lot of flints. We'll probably want to just spend much of the night making some more storage pots. Let's see, they spawn in dark areas. Well, I'm hoping that my fire pit should keep them at least somewhat at bay. We will see. Um, where's my, my cooking pot? I'm just going to put the cooking pot in with... with those. We might even want to make a second one of these later. Uh, let's see. Do I want to have low fertility soil? Let's just eat the rest of these currants. Okay. So, I've got my axe. My shovel's kind of on its way out. I guess best option is with the last of what I have shovel wise. Oh, hold up. Okay, we've got a couple of options here. I don't like that. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna stay away from both of these. However, we have. We got a cave system. We got uh, multiple. Uh, let's see. Color. List. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got a bunch of clay here, but we need gravel. Gravel's over here. I'm going to spend much of the night panning and working on clay stuff. So let's just use the last of my shovel and see if I can get some, some more gravel. Hopefully that'll also get me some more uh, flint as well. Let's see, wonder if you run into any enemies that explode yet. Not yet. I've run into a couple enemies that sneak up and try and murder me, but nothing that goes boom. I'm kind of hoping they stay away from the whole creeper business. Um, mainly just because while the while creepers are such like a iconic thing for Minecraft, they're also just like a legendary inconvenience. And I think, um, I think I'd, I'd rather see them go in a different direction with the enemies in this game. Than just try and copy everything. But yeah, so no creepers yet. There might be something that kind of, uh, let's see, there might be something that kind of replicates the effect. I'm, I'm really mostly just worried about any kind of creature that destroys blocks. I absolutely despise having my work destroyed because an enemy just uh, just bashed into them. I do love the fact that, uh, yeah, my, my animation does not match my shadow. I don't know why they need to actually have it be so fast. Holy shit, this shovel is just uh, carrying us. I was not expecting that we'd be able to just harvest this much, but here we are.
Yeah, creepers are why you play on peaceful always. Creepers are why I usually turn on the, uh, whatever the setting is that makes it so they can't destroy my structure. I don't mind getting blown up, but I really do mind when something that I, like, worked hard to build uh, got deleted because uh, I was not paying attention and a creeper spawned on me. Ah, there it goes. Alright, let's just, let's just grab this and start going for some berries. Oh, medium fertility soil. Good to know. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. We should probably also spend some amount of time tonight looking up. Let's see. This is just low fertility soil. I'll just put it up there. Uh, fortunately, my inventory is mad full. I'll just put a second one in there. Okay. Yeah, before it gets dark. There's an amount of medium fertility soil that hopefully will let me plant these beets. Let's also let's also just grab some food. Oh. There we go. Looks like it takes multiple days for them to regrow. So farming is definitely going to be something I'm going to want to dive into. I can range out for a while to have enough food, uh, but I'd still prefer to not starve. Let's see. The other thing I kind of want to keep an eye out for is potential copper. So this is sandstone sand. Eh, I don't think I need to. I don't need to mark that. There's also the cattails, but I think I'll leave that alone. Let me see. It doesn't seem like sprinting costs me much. Ooh. Growing turnips. I'm just going to mark these as... Okay. Come back in a bit. We want to grab as many seeds as we can. Ooh. I'm just gonna I'm gonna litter my map with all sorts of goodies. Can I yeah, we can get the log to go away. More flint. Okay, do we see anything else? It's getting it's starting to get real dark. Berries, potentially thing, cranberry bushes. I was hoping to make another stew before I stop, uh, before it got too dark, but looks like I'm just going to have to live off of, ah, here we go. Oh, those were growing. Uh, that's fine. Okay. That should be a decent amount. is over here and is pinned so we don't have to worry too much about it uh, let's see let's just grab a little bit of medium fertility soil I'm gonna try and make a very small farm I've got I've got five turnip seeds that should be good enough did I get all the blocks looks like it did okay back we go sandstone sand it looks like there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to want to explore uh, when we have a little bit more time. But for now, it's a good time to get back in before it gets way dark and then I can't see anything and then I die. I really like the terrain generation in this. It feels good. Okay, there we go.
Uh, let's see. Let me just toss that there. We want to grab low fertility soil. Move that back over. Move some firewood. Refuel. Looks like I'm going to need the fire starter again. There we go. All right. So next order of business. Set that up. Let's start panning while our food cooks. Actually, no. Let's not let's not start panning. Let's start with the more obvious thing of storage vessel. I'm going to need at least probably two more. And so if I can get them going while I while I pan, that will solve a lot of my immediate issues. one by one. I was trying to decide if there's a faster way of doing this, and the answer is no. I also hope the munchkins don't spawn inside my base. I think I think they have to spawn at minimum 50, 50 squares away from me. Uh, but I could have done that wrong. So, do you drop stuff on death in this? You can. Uh, there's a robust uh, set of options that you can set at the beginning of a new world, uh, and so I turned that right off. I don't mind hard, but I hate punishment, uh, if that makes any sense. You know, give me, give me Dark Souls where, let's see, give me like Dark Souls or like, uh, well, I, Dark Souls is kind of hit and miss in this one, but give me a game where, uh, let's see, give me a game where like, sure, I might I might die and lose a bunch, but don't force me to have to walk back every single time. Dark Souls was kind of hit and mi miss purely just because there were there were a couple of instances where they'd absolutely just kick you way back like 15 minutes prior, and it's just like, I don't want to do this. But most of the time, it was a pretty easy run back to where the boss is, so you could try again. Uh, And, like, I realize this kills some of the tension, but on my end, like, I just don't want to deal with it. And I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that, like... I mean, honestly... The tension of losing your stuff is fun for a while. Uh, or at least the tension for me losing my stuff was fun for a while. But there was a certain point uh, in my life where I was just kind of like, and I'm now just officially bored of of these mechanics. And I've just never been able to, like, get the spark back. Oh. We relit it. But we... Wait, what? What do you mean it's cold? Okay, so I I guess pre-placing all of the Oh, I can only have one berry. Yeah, the the berries are not kosher. When it comes to turnip cooking. Really? Oh, Vegetable stew can only be, uh, can only be vegetables and soybeans, nothing else. I feel like if it's tedious to get the equipment to begin with and easy to lose it, then it's just frustrating. Yeah, I kind I would, I would say same also applies, uh, I would say same also applies to, uh, Do I want to do that? I probably should have just waited. Oh well. I'll just let this get a little cold. 